Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be messing around with this Asus server this is the a what is it ESC 4000 generation 2 which were nicely donated from bargain hardware if you don't know um, I'm affiliated with bargain hardware and I do very much recommend you to go over there at bargainhardware.co.uk and check out what they have and they do have a lot and if you use the checkout code my playhouse small letters on your way out you get 5% off of your purchase but back to the server I am um, I've been reading the comments and I did a, a video on some storage and someone suggested that I should look into this Chiag, Chiag coin and it's a cryptocurrency that is mined with the usage of a lot of storage and I thought well I might not be going into that currency but the the concept is interesting a lot of storage some of it has to be large and some of it has to be fast and so from a hardware perspective of things i found that that was very interesting so today i was gonna try and uh, change the server layout of this asus esc 4000 generation 2 so that i could mess around with some storage and play around with that instead of um, well right now it has gpus i might just keep those in there i like the power usage that was a sarcastic joke I might keep them in there because then the server can do more than one thing but i am also going to be trying out a lot of other stuff and let's see what i've lined up so here is the server the server has eight bays in front of it and i'm going to utilize those plus i'm going to be putting in two of these nvme drives i need to just pop the graphics card up a little bit and pop those in underneath it there is an uh, available slot down there i believe i hope otherwise i've miscalculated and uh, and they are nothing special i didn't have anything special so they are like this king king spec is that king spec yeah king king spec nvme drives they are faster than ordinary ssds but we are putting in a couple of ssds these are not ordinary they're actually enterprise uh, graded ssd from intel and that's um, that's the fast storage like nvme ssd then i'm planning on trying if i can do a ram storage as well so i have a bunch of uh, 32 gigabyte ram blocks here the server takes 16 blocks of memory so 16 times 32 if the server will take these um, i do hope so i would think that it would take them but that's one of the things that we're gonna find out so a shit ton of ram is going in then well the ssds are gonna go in these uh, brackets here to convert them because the slots in front of the server is uh, three and a half inches so um, i'm gonna have to mount them in these which is gonna be okay can i do that are they they are okay I was just worried for a second that they might be SAS drives, but they're they're SATA drives, so they will fit in there. Then for the big storage, I have over here. Oh, it's just outside of view. I have five drives, and these are 12 terabyte drives. So that brings us to a total of 60 terabytes in this server uh, when I put those in. So um, yeah, that's what I'm up to. So uh, let's get popping. I think we'll start with the NVMe drive. See if I can fit those. I um I have these little kits in my uh, in my store. That one is not part of it. It's a PCB screwdriver and heat thinking there's a little heat sink and it ends up looking like this. And you have a tiny little NVMe drive that you can pop in a server. I've found all kind of problems booting from these, but um, as soon as you get into the operating system, it normally works very well. So I have two of those that I'm gonna be popping in. Both of them are these king specs. They're really easy to put together. You take take this out of the bag. They come with with some pads. They are spacers, but they are to transfer the heat of the NVMe drive away and to the cooling. It's not really necessary. It's uh, it doesn't do a whole lot, but well, it's it's there. You don't really need to cool this. It will run without cooling. It will actually run ever so slightly faster without cooling. With cooling, it will last longer. Without cooling, it will run a little bit faster. Uh, 
yeah I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna cool it uh, it also looks cooler <laughs> so there is a pad here I believe this thick one usually goes very well in the bottom of the PCB oh should we just have a look at the PCB it says um, I'm selling these because they are special you can put them in servers because you can take the x16 um, these brackets are not used and these are not used it's only using the first 4x so you can you can clip these off if your server does not have an x16 slot I do believe that this server has an x16 slot down there so I'm gonna leave them in uh, it gives a better stable thing than if it's just sitting in an x4 many servers has x8 slots so you can remove this last one and it will uh, use these slots so yeah it might also just fit so this can stick outside sometimes you're lucky yeah oh it comes with a screwdriver so we loosen the screw here we screw it there and there are extra screws that comes with it as well so that's very nice and we then put in this pad here which is going to transfer the heat from one side of the and it has uh, it has very clear tiny plastic on it there removing that it doesn't transfer the heat very well so getting rid of that pop in the NVMe drive there clamp it down with the screw there then there's another uh, pad here and we can mount that to the back of the heat sink here there's a lot of wiping of material here so you can clean it I think we are good so removing plastic from one side putting that on the on the pad here there perfect or good enough and removing another piece of plastic putting that on top there um, there are some thinner uh, pieces of heat transfer thing if, uh, if it's not enough or if it's too much you could have an NVMe drive with chips on both sides so that it wouldn't go down uh, enough so it might be better to put one of the thin ones or two of the thin ones and and get it working that way I have gotten this on crooked haven't I we could just slide that it was so slightly so it comes with two el uh, elastic bands here and I, I pop them in like this and over here and it kind of has some has some slots in there I hope this elastic bond is not something that dissolves in the server over the next 20 years and is just a, a liquid goo down there in 20 years but it's probably not gonna be running in there for that long so we're good to go we have another one so now we have two of them that can go in I'm gonna mount some of the other stuff otherwise this video is gonna be very long I will just mention that I really like these cases that I bought these way back they are metal and they convert the 2.5 inch hard drive to a 3.5 um, in a cage and I bought these when I was doing some videos on the awesome Lenovo X3650 model 1 which also has 3.5 inch hard drive base and uh, yeah I found these I think I found them on AliExpress and thought that they were really cool quality and um, yeah they were I'm still very happy with them okay I've mounted all the drives in drive cages uh, these SSDs are enterprise Intel drives and there are 1.92 terabytes each so I believe this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 8 drives but weird uh, naming. So I'm going to put the SSDs in the first two slots here. And then we're going to be putting in these uh, 12 terabytes. And these are SAS drives. They're 7200 RPMs and a capacity of 12 terabytes. So we're popping those in the last five slots. The first slot is occupied by a Hitachi 
200 SSD for the operating system. Uh, I did gather that anything goes for the operating system. It's a bit wasteful to use that, but I really can't be bothered to reinstall this server, so I'm taking advantage of it uh, being there. So, so far, so good. Now we need to mount the NVMe drives, and I need to take the graphics cards up to pop those down underneath them. There we have the graphics card up. There's actually two slots available down here, so I don't know, should we just be lazy and pop both of them in there? I think we're just gonna do that. There. So I'm going into the RAID controller and I'm gonna be configuring this. It's gonna probably, it has a lot of unconfigured good drives there, so that is awesome. So the first one is just the, the boot drive and I'm gonna figure out how to configure this and I'm gonna tell you about it. This is probably an easy way to show what I've done. I've just made each drive a RAID 0. I am hoping to use Windows Storage Pool for this. Just throw the drives into a pool together with the SSDs and then the, the Windows Storage Pool will optimize uh, speeds on that. So also the, the slower drives becomes faster. You can see out here it looks more messy. There is a lot of stuff there. Yeah, there is the 12 terabyte drives there. The RAID controller did not see my SSDs as SSDs, even though it sees them uh, as SSDs here, but I couldn't use them as cache controllers in there, which would have been great. Uh, in that case, I could have taken these 10 terabytes and I could have made a, I could have made a RAID zero of those five drives and made three drives and then had the SSD caching on, on those drives. That would have made a lot of sense, but uh, or uh, at least another way of doing it, having the RAID controller do more of the work. It sees all the virtual drives. It's not entirely happy about that. So with the two Tesla cards out and the two NVMe drives out, um, Server 2019 boots uh, without any issues. The server is ramping up, I don't know why. Oh. It's set to do folding at home automatically, so it's it's doing that on the processor. I should have turned that off. Yeah, but I'm gonna turn it off again and try the RAM and also the NVMe drives again. I popped the very nice 16 gigabyte blocks out that came with this server, courtesy of Bargain Hardware, and I popped in these even more awesome Samsung 32 gigabytes PC3 4. 1400 L sticks. So let's see if the server will recognize that and and boot. Okay, that just gave us 512 gigabytes of memory in this server, which is kind of cool. We could have a nice big RAM disk on that. Okay, so I am here in the server manager and this is under the file and storage services. And in here we can, we can create our storage pool. Right now there is nothing um, I haven't created it yet, but it sees all the drives, which is awesome! So first we have one of those SSDs. As it's passed through the... it's not passed through, it, it's managed by the RAID controller. It says that it's RAID. And then there is the operating system, which is also a RAID. And all of them are not formatted or partitioned yet. So second SSD, one, two, three, four five um, SAS drives, which are all rated. Then I have popped in the two NVMe drives, which it does see out here. So they are there. That is awesome. And then there is some non-media here, which I have no idea what could be, but it don't remember any USB thingy and it's zero bytes. So it must be something that we don't have to worry about. So awesome popped in the two NVMe drives and they are actually working now so I have no issues right now uh, taking out the two graphics card uh, solved that thing I don't know what was conflicting it might also just be okay to put them back in I don't know I ran a speed test on the three drives here three uh, different drive types so I just picked one of each uh, so first I have the NVMe drive up here this is a cheap Chinese brand so it doesn't perform as well as, as if you put in a good Samsung NVMe drive but it does do about just below two gigabytes per second 
over here and the rest of the numbers are here then there is the ssd and that does about 625 megabytes per second and as a big surprise down here the sas drives well they do 321 megabytes per second so the ssd is not even twice as fast but of course as soon as we get into some random stuff it is not able to keep up this is a spinning drive where this is a ssd and this is an nvme so but I was very impressed 321 megabytes per second that is really nice off a spinning drive the ray controller might be helping it so there is that so I am running late for Mother's Day today so I have to end the video here um, but if you have any experience with this China 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 coin which rely on storage and solving some storage stuff uh, do leave in the comments how i can best set this up i am most definitely new to this but i thought we would just set up a server with some good hardware and um, and work on it from there i did also not get to making the ram drives i'm very much hoping that i can do a ram drive and i would be able to put that into storage pools as well together with the NVMe, the SSDs and the SAS drives maybe do two different drives but I'm not entirely sure how this Chia crypto coin would be most efficient yet so um, yeah if you know anything about that please leave it in the comments below and if you want to get smarter on how this works please read the comments below because there's always someone that is way smarter than me commenting down there I think that's kind of it for this time, preparing the hardware for mining this Chia coin. I would very much encourage you again to visit Barkin Hardware and check out their hardware prices over there in the UK. And um, yeah, if you use the checkout code My Playhouse small letters, you get 5% off of your purchase. I think I've plucked that quite enough by now. So I'll um, wing wing and um, just um, say thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye